Hello YouTube, this is the DBT Gamer Show, and welcome to a DBT Gamer Special. 29 years ago, a person was born, that person is me. Today is my birthday. Now I don't normally make videos on my birthday, but my sister bought me a special present, and I will get to that in a moment. And anyway, this video is mostly based around Metroid. So let's have a little bit of a Metroid um, extravaganza sort of video. Um, so I'm going to go for my Metroid Amiibos. This is the one from Smash Bros. This is this is one of the very first Amiibos that I bought. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Metroid. And I really like the character Samus, so I had to buy this. And... I really like this one. It's a very simple pose, but she is collectible and she is nice. And then we have the one that's kind of more, um, how can I put this? I'll use the word sexy. This is Zero Suit Samus with the um, big clunky heels and the um, wristbands. A lot of people don't like the fact that they gave Samus heels because they thought that, that made her more sexualized, personally. Because they're rocket heels, and because these heels are used for fighting, I think they're great, because in Brawl, Zero Six Samus was a pretty weak character, and it was a, a a downgrade when you took your suit off. It was more difficult to actually f fight. Well, it was for me anyway. So I'm glad they gave her the heels and the um, power bracelets to make her attacks do more damage. And I do enjoy playing Zero Six Samus when I need the extra agility. But, and I do like this amiibo. Now on to the um, <laughs> Samus Returns amiibos. Uh, I got these uh, on the 15th. Um, I was going to show them in a video where I would show off all my amiibos. That will come in, in the somewhat near future. Uh, but for now I'll just show off my Metroid ones. Um, I like this one as well. This is the um, crouching sort of action pose Samus Amiibo. Um, and it's really cool. It's more bulky than the um, other Samus. This one's based off other M, as well as this one is based off other M as loosely as well. And this one appears to be more based off Samus's classic design. And now, for my, for one of my favourites in this, um, for, for Pack of Spurs, the Squidgy Baby Metroid Amiibo. When I first heard that they were making a Squidgy Baby Metroid Amiibo, I squeed. I know that's a really childish thing to do, but I squeed. I like squishy things. <laughs> and I've actually nicknamed this thing Squishy. Which is a Finding Nemo reference, but I don't care because Metroids are like jellyfish, and it's kind of they're kind of similar things. And actually, the really like way this thing is designed, it's just great. And it's got the um, little two, but it was encapsulated in, and now it's escaped, and it can fly around my bedroom and hopefully not eat my brains. <laughs> anyway, now on to. The present that my, that my mum bought me. This is Metroid Samus Returns for the um, 3DS. This is the uh, front of the box. And here's the back. The hunt is on. Metroid is back. It's about damn time, Nintendo. You haven't made a Metroid game in years. And we do not count Federation Force because Federation Force is a is at best, in my opinion, um, a spin-off game, and nothing more. But, yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to playing this. I have beaten the original Metroid 2 on the, on the original Game Boy on my 3DS, um, and I found it really difficult. I had to have a laptop next to me at all times so I could actually get through it. I, I needed a map. I'm... 
not go with directions without maps. <laughs> um, and I've also played AM2R, which was the um, fan remake of Metroid 2, which I had a really good time with because it, I already kind of knew where to go after playing the Game Boy version. And it was nice to see all the um, new elements that the um, fan creators added in and stuff. Although it is a shame that Nintendo decided to um, take that take that down because they have to protect their brand and copyright claims and stuff. Um, eventually they, they did release their own Metroid 2 remake, so it kind of makes sense, but... I think that um, both remakes can coexist because they're both going to be awesome in their own little way. Now, just give me a moment to crack this seal. I need both hands. Okay, I am back. It's, it's open now, so now I can open it. There we go. I like how the um, cartridge has a little Metroid on it. Come on, camera, focus, focus. There we go, that's, that's, that's slightly better. That's um, great. It's just your standard um, 3DS box with adverts for more games and stuff. Animal Crossing, Mario Sports, Fire Emblem, Mario Land and Super Mario 3D Land and Mario Kart 7 and ha Animal Crossing have, have your own designer. Not really my thing. Yokai Watch, which is similar to Pokemon, I suppose. Tell me that's your life and that style boutique game. There's also a, a post promoting demos for um for the 3DS. Some of the demos are actually quite good. I do, do occasionally enjoy the um a good demo. I've been playing the um Project Octopath demo on my Switch lately and. That was very fun. I love pixel art. Anyway, now that's a, that's just the um, health and safety thing, which I'm not going to show you because health and safety is boring. And this is not this is not a boring channel. It's a fun channel. Anyway, now on to the main event. The main reason why I'm making this video. Right, my sister, Dana, did something, and I can't believe she did this. When I opened this present today, I was absolutely speechless. And I'm not often speechless, I often talk a lot. Anyway, let's get on with it. She bought me this. I literally couldn't believe my eyes, hands, when I opened this. <laughs> it's the... New 3DS XL Samus Special Edition 3DS. Now, you've probably seen a lot of unboxing videos on the internet for this thing already. Um, and this video is technically 13 days late, but Metro released on the 15th, my birthday on the 28th. That's why I'm making this video today, and my sister did not want to give me my present early. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to open this and do an unboxing video because I haven't done an unboxing video f for a while and I haven't done one for a system for a while and I, I never did a one for the 3DS because I just didn't feel like doing one. But, let's go. Let's crack this thing open. <laughs> uh, look at the box first. There's, that's the um, top bit. That's the back. Yeah, it's like an orange and a yellow sort of colour. It looks super shiny and super nice. And, and and very space themed. Right. I like how they put the screw attack symbol on the um, top of the box. Yeah, let's open this. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> One more, I need two hands. <laughs> Be right back. Alright, after a little bit of struggling, I have managed to very, very carefully open this box. Uh, and I am being super careful because 
I don't want to damage this because this was a very special present. Right, well the first thing in the box was some Amiibo cards, which I already own, so I've been through my drawers, I've dug out my old set. Both sets will be the same, so I'm going to show off this set because they have a nice little envelope. Um, these are AR cards, which are kind of like a precursor to the Amiibo card. They work for, set, for little games and stuff. I did do a free desk review a few years back where I showed off these cards, but I'll just show them off again because they are very nice. There's this one's for the um, game itself, which you shoot dragons. There's a Mario one. Um, Toon Link from Wind Waker, Fan Glass, and, and Spirit Tracks. One of my all time favourites, Kirby. And here's um, Samus herself in a very nice pose. And Pikmin! And that's all the amiibo cards. I mean, all the um, AR cards you get. I keep calling them amiibo cards. <laughs> oh dear. Nintendo and your um, product names confusing me. And here's all the... Um, gubbings that you use to get the instruction manual on the quick start guide. I have owned a 3DS since they first came out in like 2012, so I am well versed in how these things operate. Although there is one worry which I'm having, I don't know how to um, transfer my account, so I have to um, go on the old internet and look into that. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. Anyway, next in the box. Um, Nothing really. Just going to the DS itself. Although, one thing Nintendo. You need to stop doing this. Not including charges with your DS systems. I know it makes them cheaper technically, but. All systems should come with charges. Anyway, enough of my ranting. Let's have a look at the um, system itself. And there's nothing in the cardboard. Just a standard piece of cardboard. Wow, this thing is actually pretty heavy. Uh, my sister had a old 3DS XL, and it, I, I used it the odd time because I was helping her. That's what big brothers do, help family. Anyway, but yeah, this is rather heavy. I'm gonna just slide this foam off. Wow, that is so so shiny. That is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> right, I should turn this round. Oh, it's almost too bright for my camera on the back. And I'm going to try and open this thing. I have to be, whoops, super careful. One more, I need two hands. <laughs> and there it is fully splayed out for your viewing pleasure. Uh, the stars is thankfully somewhat bigger and thicker, so it may be a little bit less difficult to lose, maybe. I once actually had to replace a 3DS stylus. Guess how much these things cost, YouTube? You're probably wrong, but if you want to actually get an official one from Nintendo, which you cannot buy on Amazon or anything, these things cost like seven quid each. Yeah, I'm not kidding you. For a stylus, it's seven quid these days. What the hell is wrong with Nintendo and its pricing? When I, when I asked for one, I was expecting no more than like three pound. Yeah. Anyway, back to the um, system. Um, game card goes in there. Power button there. Headphone jack, because headphone jack's a good idea. Hint it, notional dapple. Um, triggers. Charging port. And 
Now onto the front itself. Volume control, 3D slider, which I will need for this game because apparently this this game, from what I've heard on the internet, has fantastic 3D effects. Um, movement controls, buttons, C stick, which should be great, and start and select button. Yep. <laughs> Right, YouTube, I am now going to close this video, but thank you for joining me, and if you want to put um, comments in the um, bottom of the video, you know, for like, happy birthday and stuff, feel free to do so. Um, a few um, updates, I am hoping to make more videos soon, I took a, a few months off because of work and... Um, Struggling to have time to record. I have pre-recorded some footage. And I am working on some reviews. And maybe some special videos for Halloween and stuff like that. And those videos will be out as soon as I can get them out. Anyway, please like, comment and subscribe. And if anyone else is celebrating a birthday today, who is part of my family, fans happy birthday to you and i will see you all in my next video goodbye